Good evening, everyone. This is Michael from Bro JMR, and it's Wednesday, so it's unboxing day. And I know for the past few episodes, I've been promising the next one's gonna be this, next one's gonna be Harry Potter, next one's gonna be this, blah, blah, blah. And I failed in my promise of delivering that to you. I just found a couple of really cool things that I just had to do unboxings of right then and there. But, as I've been promising, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, the Best Buy exclusive edition. This was released on December 11th, 2007, so almost 10 years ago. And uh, it's got some cool stuff in it, so let's take a look together, shall we? Alright, let's get on it. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Best Buy exclusive edition. Once again, I apologize for the background noise. My dumbass neighbors got their stereo turned out way too loud. But let's do this. It's a nice big, big set. Like I said, this is Best Buy exclusive. I picked it up for about 10 bucks at half price books, so kind of exciting. Uh, it's got a flap that you open up. A nice picture of the kids flying to the ministry to attempt to save Sirius and I know you're getting a reflection but there's the, a nice shot with the mask in it so let's open this up this was already open when I got it unfortunately but the movie itself is completely sealed which that's pretty badass but it doesn't matter that it's sealed because I have another copy here that is opened. This was my old copy when it first came out on DVD. I bought this and I watched the heck out of it. So it's got a very nice slip cover. It's, I like that it's, uh, it's kind of reflective and the, uh, the orb or the uh, prophecy ball right here is pretty neat. And I don't remember if there's anything special in here. Besides the discs, obviously, there's the and then the special edition or the uh, special features. Uh, it's got a looks like code for the digital copy and a catalog from the Noble Collection. We can order all kinds of cool Harry Potter stuff, including the Prophecy, the Gryffindor Sword. Letter opener, the Firebolt broom pin, uh, Harry Potter's glasses, Godric Gryffindor sword, Harry Potter's wand, uh, golden egg pennant, uh, Hogwarts writing quill, a miniature headwig, Hogwarts house of pens, Hogwarts castle, the wand collection with illuminating tips down here. Time Tuner, uh, Hermione's Yule Ball Earrings, Hermione's Wand, the Gryffindor House Scarf and Tie, the Gryffindor Mug, the Sorcerer's Stone, uh, Sorcerer's Stone Pennant, the Gringotts Coin Collection, Dolores Umbridge Wand, the Proclamation Board where you can write your own educational decrees, and the final challenge chess set. Man, this is all kinds of cool stuff. I don't, I can't believe I never went through and ordered any of this stuff. Uh, Lucius Malfoy's walking stick, Bellatrix mask, Lucius Malfoy's masks, the Death Eater mask collection, the Dementor's crystal ball, Dumbledore's army pendant, Dumbledore's army wand collection, mechanical Death Eater, the Weasley wand collection and the Harry Potter character wands. Oh man, replica collector's quality broom replicas, uh, scale model brooms, the broomstick bookmark collection, and the Hogwarts bookmarks. Man, there's all kinds of stuff you could order in this thing. That's crazy. And more Harry Potter's wand with illuminating tip. And the Marauders map. And the Order of the Phoenix bookmark collection. Man, so much stuff. 
for all you Harry Potter nerds out there. Okay, now let's get inside and see the cool stuff. That's what you. Re that's what we really want to see. All right, first we got the Death Eater's mask, and it's it's pretty good quality. It is a little small. You can't you can't really wear it on your face unless I guess unless you put it on your nose. But then it's going to look funny. It has a very nice display case that it can go in. So you can actually, uh, I guess if you take and uh, put some, well, if you look here, even the, the, the little display thing that it goes on, it's face shaped. So it fits in there nice and snug. But you could, uh, I imagine that you could probably put a little tape on the back side of this or maybe some glue or something and you can make this into a shadow box that would be pretty neat and we also have some art cards these are some promotional cards never been opened open them for the first time for you lovely viewers Obviously suitable for framing. We've got Harry with uh, Voldemort in the prophecy. We have Hermione and Miss Umbridge, Ron and Lucius, and Luna and a random Death Eater. So those are really, really nice. Very nice cards. I, again, I, I always say this, suitable for framing someday, someday. All right, so that is the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix exclusive Best Buy edition in all its glory. I am quite thankful to whoever owned this before for taking such great care of it. Um, I don't know who it was, but thank you for keeping it in such immaculate condition. I appreciate that so much. And um, thanks for joining us. All right, everyone, thank you for joining me with this week's unboxing of Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. Uh, next week, we're going to do something a little out of the ordinary. I'm not gonna, just going to pick one of my random sets at, at random. I have a specific one that I found a couple of weeks ago that I want to show off to you guys. Um, I want to go ahead and do it now. It's, I'm really excited about it. It's pretty cool. It's something that I hadn't seen before, and I can't wait to show it to you. So... Tune in next week for a special, a special unboxing. Thanks for watching. Blessed be. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like these unboxing videos. We also do movie reviews and collection videos and just other random stuff occasionally. So thanks for watching. Good night.